Greetings, my fellow beings. My name is Amanda, and today we are going to be talking about Renault's disease. And I had to look up how to say that, how to pronounce that correctly, because uh, I always thought it was Renaud's disease. But according to the Mayo Clinic, it's Renault's. So we're going to go with that. So we're going to talk about what that is, because it is an interesting illness that I think everyone should know what it is. Especially if you're shaking hands with someone and you tell them that they have icy fingers and they know darn well that they have icy fingers. So, yeah. So Renault's disease can be found in the fingers and the toes and can cause numbness and tingling and a freezing feeling. And the thing is, is that it can also happen in like your earlobes, in your nose, any part that is exposed to the cold. So it can be caused by temperature fluctuations, but it can also be caused by stress as well. And like most diseases, it is more common in women than it is in men. So one more point for us, yay. So treatment for Renault's disease is dependent on how severe it is and if you have other health conditions on top of that. So the symptoms of Renault's disease is cold fingers and toes, color changes in your extremities, a numb prickly feeling or a stinging pain upon warming up. During an attack of Renault's disease, it starts with your fingers turning white or your toes turning white, then they turn blue and um, they get really icy cold and they can also feel very numb. And then as your circulation improves, then they turn red and they become numb and tingly and uh, start to burn a little bit. So again, like most illnesses, Doctors don't completely understand what causes Renault's disease, but what they do know is that the blood vessels in your fingers and toes overreact to temperature fluctuations or stress. So there are two types of Renault's disease. There is primary and secondary. Now primary is uh, Renault, Renault's disease and it is the most common type. And this is not a result of a secondary medical illness that you have. And this can be very mild and most people that have primary Renault's disease do not seek treatment for it because it is so mild. Now the secondary form is called Renault's phenomenon and it is caused by an underlying health condition. And even though it's not as common as the primary form, it can be much more serious than the primary form. And usually they appear in your 40s, which is much later than for primary Renault's. So things that can cause secondary Renault's phenomenon is things like connective tissue disease, diseases of the arteries, carpal tunnel syndrome, repetitive action or vibration, smoking, injuries to the hands and feet, and certain medications. The risk factors for Raynaud's disease is uh, if you're a woman, you are more likely to have it than men. Your age has to do with it. Usually you get it between ages 15 and 30. Climate can make a huge difference between people that have Renault's disease, so if you do have it, I don't suggest living in a really cold climate. But sometimes that's not a choice, so there's that. And then also, family history plays a role in it as well. For secondary Renault's phenomenon, things that can cause that, the risk factors for that are things like associated diseases, certain occupations, and exposure to cer certain substances. So if Renault's disease gets severe, which is super rare, but if it does get severe, it can cause damage to the toes and fingers and the surrounding tissue of your hands and feet. And completely blocked arteries can cause ulcer or dead tissue, which can be very difficult to treat. And rarely, in extreme cases, sometimes the hands or feet need to be removed but that is super rare, so no one. So to prevent Renault's disease, make sure that you are bundled up when you're outside. Don't go outside when it is super cold and you're not bundled up. Make sure your car is warm when you get inside your car and make sure that you're taking precautions when you're inside. So try not to have your house too cold. Um, just make sure that if you're taking food or anything out of the freezer that you wear gloves or anything that can protect your hands when you're getting food out of the freezer. And in winter, it might be helpful to wear mittens and socks while you sleep. So this is just a quick overview of what Renault's disease is. And I just wanted you guys to understand what it is and how to prevent it and how to take care of it. 
and I hope that you learned something new. If you want to continue this journey with me and learn more about chronic illnesses or life with chronic illnesses, then go ahead and click that subscribe button and go ahead and click that like button if you did enjoy this video. Remember to be kind. Kindness is free, so give it out to everyone, and I'll see you next time. Bye. But Renault's disease can also cause my sister to come out of the bathroom. Sweetheart, I okay, love you. We gotta put that away for right now. But they don't want to play ball right now. Okay, all done for right now, okay? Right now, just right now. I'm done. As soon as I'm done, we can play ball, okay? okay? Stay down for a sec. Thank you. Thank you. I wish I had a, oh, a teleprompter? teleprompter, that would be great, but I do not have a teleprompter. <laughs> so. Even then, you'd still have to cuddle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but you can't hear my chewing. <laughs> there is going to be music in the background, so mm -hmm. it doesn't really matter. My deep nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Try to make sure that you have, uh, my mind just went blank. Uh, I changed what I usually said and I don't know how to finish that. <laughs> Blah. If you want to continue this journey with me and wait. If